it is that time of the month again where we're going to look back at my favourites. I can't believe it's July. I know I say that in every single favourites video. I can't believe it's this month already, but seriously, time is going really quickly this year and I'm starting to feel a little bit old. Anyway, I've got so many things to show you this month and one of them in particular is the biggest favourite of life. So get ready for that and let's have a look. You guys know the drill by now, we always start off with my beauty favourites and I'm going to kick it off with this little black pot of Joy from Lush, I love it. Now I've always been one of these people that just go straight to the bath bombs um, because they're the best thing that Lush do, um, but I discovered that they do cleansers, did not know that, and a girl called Amy, who's actually one of my cherry bombs, hello, worked at Lush and she helped me choose this and it was really lovely to meet her and have a chat about all things Lushy. But this is really nice, it's a face and body cleanser so you get a little bit of it, it looks like Play-Doh, and you rub it with water if that makes sense and it's just a really lovely soft gentle body cleanser and it has little bits of popcorn in it which really really sold this to me because I love popcorn and I really just want to scoop it out and put it in my mouth but that's probably not a good idea but yes love it love it love it my next beauty favorite is this and I have definitely put this in a favorites before but I stopped using it for many months and then discovered how wonderful it was again so I've fallen in love with it and it's beautiful this is by Lee Stafford and it's a treatment for hair that never grows past a certain length now you're probably thinking I have super super long hair why do I want to grow it even more um, well I uploaded a picture to Twitter the other day I don't know if you saw it but my hair is extremely wonky. It's very short underneath compared to this side. Um, I just I try to hide it quite well. But um, the hair on this side is a lot shorter than it is on this side. And I know you're saying, mm, just go to the hairdresser and get it cut. I am, but I can't do that until the Hungerford film has finished filming. Um, but this is great. It feels really beautiful. I've actually only had this not that long and it's already nearly empty. But it makes my hair feel absolutely beautiful and soft. Does it work? Does it make my hair grow? I don't know, but I like to think it does and it smells beautiful, so it's a favourite of mine, and yes, I like it very much. My next favourite is probably quite an unusual one, and it's this glove. Um, I know, this is actually a glove mitt by Soap and & Glory, and it's designed to get rid of cellulite. Now, I probably could use that, but I didn't buy it for that intention. I bought it to clean my makeup brushes, and it does the best job ever. I usually do it on my hand, but it makes them sort of dry and flaky, and turns them into raisins, because I've been washing so many brushes on the center of my hand in little circles. It's just not good for my skin. Um, so I bought one of these and it is perfect. So if you like or need to clean your makeup brushes, I definitely recommend getting one of these cellulite gloves, even though it's not designed to be a makeup brush cleaner, but it works so well and I love it so much. And I just think it's a top notch product. So let's move on. My next favourite is a mascara and this is from Benefit. Now I'm going to be openly honest, they did send me this, they haven't paid me or anything to talk about it. I'm talking about it because it gave me so much nostalgia. This is a blue mascara and it just brought back all of the memories. When I was 14 I bought my first ever blue mascara um, because I started experimenting with makeup and the possibilities were endless and I loved my blue mascara so, so much. So I feel, I don't know, I'm very happy that I have a blue mascara again and it's exciting and it's, it's just really good. I like it a lot and mm, blue mascara, I can, I can be wild again. Now we're on to some very exciting favourites. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, if you don't, then come along, join the club and follow me for lots of fun. If you follow me on there, you will know that in June, I bought my first car and I love it so much. I bought a bright yellow Fiat 500 and I called it Bumblebee and I love it so much. Um, it's probably the favourite of the month and the favourite of life because I've wanted a car for so long. I've had my licence for four years, so the fact that I finally have my, my own little car makes me feel a little bit emotional. So yeah, it's a little yellow Fiat 500. Here is a picture of me next to my swagmobile. And I'm very excited. I feel as though this is gonna give me a lot of freedom. Um, I can go on road trips and adventures, which obviously I can film for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot more freedom and I'm very, very happy. 
Um, I was so ecstatic when I bought it and yeah, it's a big favourite. It's the favourite of the month. <laughs> Sticking with a similar topic, my next favourite is an air freshener. Um, more the brand of it than this one because I've not opened it yet. This is a Jelly Belly air freshener in very cherry, rude not to. Um, and I have one currently in my car which is tangerine, of course, orange. Oranges always come first. And these are so yummy. I love the fact that they're in little jelly shaped like a jelly bean. But the scent of them is so strong and so beautiful. I love it very much and I can't wait to just, it's so exciting buying things for your car. Your first car is just like Christmas. It's, mm, love it, love anything that smells nice. My next favorite is something that I got from Paper Chase lately and this is a diary. I am one of these people that love to be organized but I feel as though I haven't been organized lately. Um, I felt a little bit lost if that makes sense. I was having a little bit of a, a tweet about it yesterday. I feel as though I've been really letting you guys down. Um, I've been letting myself down. I'm not going to go fully into it, but I felt really lost and unorganized recently. I don't know if you can sense that. I don't know. Anyway, I bought this diary and it's my favorite color, turquoise. You know I love turquoise, whether it's duck egg or a deep turquoise. I love it. Um, this is from Paper Chase. It's really nice quality. It feels like leather. It's not going to be leather because save the animals. Uh, it's got a really nice bird pattern on it which I enjoy um, and it's just really really cool. It's got all calendar type things in, addresses, notes, planners and I am gonna get my little butt into gear and organize my life with this. So yeah this is a favorite of the month and I just think it's really cute to carry around in your handbag. And yeah, that is the end of my favourites video. I hope you're all doing really well guys. Um, I love you guys so much. We're very close to 200,000 subscribers, which is insane. Um, but yeah, I'm very grateful and I appreciate you guys every single day. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it that little thumbs up, shimmy on over there and poke it poke it until your little heart's content and yeah I will see you in my next video also give a comment or a like if you would like to see me make a car tour sort of tu tutorial not a tutorial a car tour video if you would like to see something like that then let me know I think it would be quite fun to do so I will see you next time have a good time whatever you're doing bye <laughs> that was the most awkward goodbye wasn't it have a good time! <laughs>